So people have those continuous glucose monitors, right? You see them there just chink on the arm and everybody's wearing them around testing their blood sugar and they're like, oh yeah, bread's fine. That doesn't make my blood sugar go up. What they don't understand is how much insulin they have to produce to take care of that. And the insulin is the master fat storing hormone. And if you have insulin sitting on your fat cells, they're locking them down. You're not accessing for ketones and therefore you're not burning them. And therefore you're just storing fat constantly. So people think, oh, it didn't affect my blood sugar. And then all of a sudden, 10 years later, they're in their doctor's office and their doctor's telling them they're pre-diabetic because that's what happens, ladies. It sneaks up on you. I can't tell you how many women come into my office at the age of 55 to 60 and they're like, I'm pre-diabetic. And it's because they've had too much insulin in their body for too many freaking years. They've been eating their yogurt stupid parfaits and they haven't been eating enough meat and they've been eating their stupid chia seed puddings and their avocado toast. Their blood sugar is wrecked. And now they have insulin resistance and their doctor's saying, well, if you don't get control, and they're like, how could I be pre-diabetic? You had way too much insulin in your body all the time. And then all of a sudden your cells went, I'm not listening to insulin anymore. We're done. They wore out the receptor and that was it.